Hi, this is the first video in which we are going to learn about profit and losses and of course we are going to handle this profit and losses in terms of percentage also. Right? So, let's first talk about profit. That means if you have some object and you are selling it at a higher price than its cost price. That means when sale price is more than cost price, we say you are selling it at a profit. Right? And how much will be the profit? Profit will be, amount of profit will be equal to the sale price minus the cost price. Right? I don't think you have any doubt in this. When the sale price is more than cost price, we say that we are earning a profit because we are selling the object at a higher price than the price we bought it and the amount of profit will be equal to the sale price minus cost price. Right? And what will be the profit percent? See, this amount of profit you are actually earning on this cost price because this is the amount, this cost price is the amount which you have actually spent on buying that object. Right? So, this profit percent will be the percentage of the cost price. Right? And what percent will it be of cost price? This profit percent will be equal to profit you are earning on the cost price. Right? And this when multiplied by 100 will give you the profit percent. Right? And how do you write in terms of sale price and cost price? Profit percent, if I write it as capital P and then percent, will be equal to profit in terms of sale price and cost price is equal to sale price minus cost price. So, sale price I am writing as SP minus cost price I am writing as CP divided by CP multiplied by 100. Right? This is the formula to find the profit percentage. Right? And from here, you can actually derive the formula to find cost price when you are provided with sale price and the profit percent. So, what will be that formula? Okay, if I cross multiply this, it will be CP multiplied by profit percentage is equal to 100 multiplied by SP minus 100 multiplied by CP and what do we want to find? We want to find the cost price, right? So, I'll shift this cost price towards its left. So, from here we will get CP multiplied by profit percentage minus will become plus 100 CP is equal to 100 SP. Yes, you can put a multiplication sign also and even if you don't put, it doesn't matter. And from here, if I take the cost price common, inside the bracket, I'll have P percentage plus 100 is equal to 100 SP. And from here, you will get CP is equal to 100 SP divided by profit percentage plus 100. Right? So, this is the formula to find the cost price in terms of profit percentage and sale price. Right? So, let me note it down. We have got the formula of profit percentage over here and we have got the formula for cost price and this is equal to 100 multiplied by sale price divided by profit percent plus 100. Right? So, this is one more formula which we have derived from the formula of profit percentage and now if we are provided with cost price and profit percentage and we are asked to find the sale price, what will be the sale price? Yes, I think the derivation of this will be very easy. Till here, I'll keep the calculation and from here, if I want to find the formula to calculate sale price, from here sale price will be equal to cost price multiplied by profit percent plus 100 divided by 100. 
right? So this will be the formula to find sale price where the profit percentage is P and cost price is CP. So these are the formulas to find profit percent, cost price and sale price which are over here. This is to find the profit percent, this is to find the cost price and this is the formula to find the sale price, right? So these are three different formulas but even if you don't remember these formulas and you start from the first principle of percentage then also you can find the result right so if you remember these formulas well and good and if you don't remember these formulas then also not a problem you can derive the formula whenever you want to and you can solve your problems right so this was the case when we are earning profits and what happens when we earn losses so in that case the calculations becomes slightly different I'll remove all these calculations and now we will take the second case where we are earning losses loss so when we do loss the cost price I'm writing as CP will be more than the sale price that is SP right that is when we earn losses when the cost price is more than the sale price then we earn a loss right and how much will that loss be loss will be equal to cost price minus sale price right and this loss you are actually earning on the cost price you earn a profit on the cost price and you earn a loss also on the cost price so if I want to find the loss percent let me write it as L percent this will be equal to loss by cost price multiplied by 100 right the loss over this cost price and we want to find the percent that means we have to multiply it by yes 100 so this will be the formula to find the loss percent loss over this cost price multiplied by 100 right and if I want to write it in terms of cost price and sale price it will be L percent will be equal to loss over here is cost price minus sale price so I'll replace that loss by CP minus SP that is cost price minus sale price and this is the loss you are earning over the cost price so divided by cost price multiplied by 100 right yes so this is the formula to find the loss percentage when you are provided with the cost price and the sale price right and yes if you are provided with the sale price and loss percent how to find the value of cost price so to do that again we will cross multiply and we will get loss percent multiplied by cost price is equal to 100 multiplied by cost price minus 100 multiplied by sale price right and then this will become loss percent multiplied by cost price minus 100 multiplied by cost price is equal to minus 100 multiplied by sale price and to get rid of this minus sign let me multiply both sides by minus 1 so this will become 100 CP minus loss percent multiplied by CP is equal to 100 SP right and if I take CP common inside the bracket we will have 100 minus loss percent is equal to 100 multiplied by sale price right and from here we can find the formula of cost price as 100 multiplied by sale price divided by 100 minus loss percent right and if I am provided with cost price and loss percent and want to find the formula of sale price sale price from here can be written as cost price multiplied by 100 minus loss percent divided by 100 right so these are the three formulas this is the formula to find the cost price this is the formula to find the sale price and this was the formula to find the loss percent right so these are the three formulas and again if you remember these formulas well and good but even if you don't remember these formulas don't worry you can always start from the first principle of percentage and solve your problems 
right so this was about the profit loss profit percent loss percent cost price and sale price so here we have actually derived six formulas and after this we will be solving few simple problems and after that we'll be taking few complicated problems based on profits and losses so bye bye till then